Hmm. Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 3 the final opponent for week two's Alvatu. And Alvatu hails from Ordin 77, Argentina. So I had believed I could win, and I didn't. <laughs> Mostly because of my own failures of going north instead of south to deal with the south first. And yeah. Got some pretty good teams down south. Lord Vader, Malgus, CLS. With a damage immunity. And Starkiller as well down there. But we're going north first because... Yeah. And I actually thought ahead, kind of, sort of. Oops. Was readjusting the boom arm and clicking and rambling. Anyways, no, I thought I had about what I could use where. And we're gonna use uh, old JMK, obviously, because this Ray. Get BB 8 out of there because no, I don't want to deal with him. Uh, I don't use my Sith Emperor against Malgus, I used uh, Gas. And I didn't record this in bits either, so I don't have to worry about switching back and forth between uh, the video files. I think it'll work for a second. But yeah, um, I didn't win this one, like I said. Just because instead of going south, I went north, which didn't help me at all. But he also struggled pretty badly. Well, struggled in the sense of... He only won by 20 points. But yeah, the, we'll get to that at the end. I'm trying to get JTR out the way so that way I don't deal with her stupid dodges at the end of this fight. There's another whirlwind. Some more sheen. I already pronounced that. I don't. I think I pronounce it differently every single time. There goes JTR. There goes the heal. And then she immediately went to lifeblood. Like, that was pretty ridiculously fast. But, um, there we go. Bye bye, Ray. Now we're gonna go for. Is Qui Gon and fail yet again against Qui Gon because of Anakin yet again? Also, the fact that they went before me greatly confused me. But then again, I didn't look at his Qui Gon speed. That was probably my own mistake. Not thinking to look at it. I looked at Anakin's, and he was like ridiculously slow. But uh, I didn't look at Qui Gon, so that was my own uh, failure there. I probably also should have thrown that buff immunity on Anakin instead of uh, Qui-Gon. But oh well. There goes Cam, and there goes all my Bad Batch. Alright then, that's... Thanks Anakin, really cool. Thanks man. We're gonna send in old Wampa again. Eventually he will have his Omicron, but it won't be for a while. Because my next one, like I said, I think for the first video for week two, uh, I need to get Juhani hers. Or it was the second one. I don't remember at this point, honestly. And there we go. Yay for cleanup. But yeah, um, I'm going to try to break the habit of attacking right out of the gate for Grand Arena. So that way I can actually take some time to maybe think about what I'm using where. Maybe. Uh, you know, I know that's a crazy thought sometimes. Uh, yeah. And I probably should have saved this team for uh, his CLS. Because his CLS has the damage immunity. And oh boy, did that team give me all sorts of hassles. Uh, I eventually beat it with... Uh, my Omni Savage. I didn't record it because I was doing the cleanup fight for CLS like in the last two hours of the attack phase because uh, this jackass waited to the last 
like six hours or something like that of Greg and me to start attacking. Yeah. Um, thanks, bud. Really appreciate it. I understand people have lives outside of the game and all, but 3v3, you either care about it and get it done early, or you just don't care about it at all and wait like this guy did. But it is what it is, not that big of a deal. I'm actually really enjoying the fact that now my Dark Trooper is Relic 7. He's able to pummel people so much more easily. Not easily. He didn't struggle in the first place. It was just now he's able to do it quicker, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Alright. What are we doing? Are we going down south? I think we're going to go and deal some stuff down here. deflection amount and all that lovely now for this fight I should have taken in like SLKR and Watt instead of these instead of the Night Sisters because I'm gonna end up failing against it so yeah that's just my own fault but my thought was was I could maybe beat it without Watt to um, save him for like my Sith Eternal Emperor to go against Star Killer or something. But uh, nope. There goes Doc and uh, Zombie. And yeah, I really could have used uh, Watt here <laughs> instead of uh, with Sith Eternal Emperor. But oh well, it's a learning. Uh, mistake? Well, it is a mistake, but a uh, learning effort, I guess. What is the word I'm trying to think of? Um, whenever I figure it out, I'll blurt it out and be like, that's what I meant. <laughs> uh, effort. Learning effort, maybe? No. That doesn't sound right. I, whatever. We'll move on. Uh, yeah. I will get... Uh, Royal Guard and Piet out, but uh, like I said, no. Other than that, no. Nothing else. <laughs> it is what it is. I do wonder... Didn't we have... How long ago we had this Lord Vader cooldown? Data disk. I don't remember. Data disk? Data cron whatever, same thing, same crap, um, hmm. there goes Piet, and there goes Kylo, so, yeah, whatever, it is what it is, I honestly don't remember what I used against, uh, CLS in the first battle, I know I tried, uh, my Sith Trio, and that failed as well, so, I don't know why I thought I needed to look at his Datacron again, but yeah. Some dodge and deflection. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Are we going for... Yes, we are going for Star Killer. So now that I know what my opponents used against my teams... <coughs> Excuse me. For the second week, I saw that people were using... I'm trying to use CLS against my Starkiller team. I'll pull it up on my phone while the fight goes in the background. Okay, so the first guy who I called Bob, uh, what did he use against my Starkiller? Oh, he tried CLS and it failed. Um, did he try anything else against Starkiller? Um, no. Bob did not, I don't think so. Oh, they failed against my CLS with their trio. Okay. Um, no, they didn't try anything else against my Star Killer. Okay. Um, Wally Ford. He did. Oh, he actually won with CLS against my Star Killer team. 
and 41 seconds with 54 banners. Oh, I see. Oh, he did a CLS. Uh, Chewie and Han, that's why. Oh, okay. I was about to be like, how the hell, but never mind. And then Alvan, Alvatu here, he did. Um, where is it? Oh, he did uh, Sith Eternal Emperor solo against it. Okay. So, yeah. Now, uh, before I get distracted to see what Bob did against, uh, oh no, oh no, he did try CLS chewing on as well. Okay, against my, okay, Just against my Star Killer. Sorry. Anyways, for this Darth Malgus fight, the reason why I checked his speed and all that was to see if I could really succeed or not with my five up first against it. Get rid of doubt there. And now we get to go. Eventually, slowly, one day. Very, very, very slowly. <laughs> okay, um. And it goes. No. Eventually. Gas is going to take a nap in a second. There he goes. There's nap time. And there goes the sacrifice. For some reason, I don't know why I thought that Rexlate would work on Malgus, so that was a wasted Rexlate that I could have used on Talon or Marauder. And it only drags the fight out a little longer than necessary. But oh well. I probably should have been going for Talon at this point instead of uh, Malgus. Also, I really don't know where the uh, doubt, not doubt, I don't know where that fear came from because there's no doubt on the field. Unless I completely missed it. Or missed something, I don't know. There goes Marauder. And now it's just Malgus versus Rex and Gas. And there we go. Not the smoothest fight, but I won, and I didn't have to worry about having to go up against his uh, Malagas again, so you beat. Now I get to see what I use first against his CLS team, because I honestly um, have no idea. Oh, I tried this first? What the hell? Why did I try new? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I don't, I don't, I have no idea why I tried new here. I'll be completely honest with you, I have uh, legitimately no fucking idea what I was thinking. Well, I can tell you I wasn't thinking. So, um, yeah, that's, that's neat. I'm an idiot. Because B1's gonna die eventually, pretty soon. Um, maybe one day he will die. I oh, know he will die in a second. There goes Django. Um, there goes Newt in a second. Yep, there goes Newt and there goes B1. So, yeah, I don't, I don't exactly know what I was thinking there with that team. Um, I have no idea. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on that one. I, I'm just as confused on that one. Yeah, no idea. Anyways, we're gonna go kill uh, Dash now with my Jedi. I wasn't the biggest fan of them going after Jolie first, but uh, it is what it is. Can't really control it. I'm gonna get some. Uh... Oh, apparently he ignore ignores a uh, foresight. How lovely! That's really cool. 
Bye bye Han. And now I think I'm gonna go for Dash. And I'm going for Chewie. There goes Chewie. Now for Dash. I was really hoping to get some more protection, like more banners recovered, but eh. I'll take 56. It's better than losing. So, you know, that's always nice. Alright, now to deal with Finn. Okay, what are we doing against Finn? I don't remember at this point. I think I did Rebels. I'm pretty sure I did Rebels. I did do Rebels. Hey, I kind of know what I did. Sort of. <laughs> kind of, sort of, not really. But yeah, uh, I'm going to try my best to break my habit of attacking right out the gate for Grand Arena and waiting a little bit. So that way if I'm out and about, I don't make any stupid mistakes while doing recordings. Because uh, as that has proven time and time again, it has cost me... Uh, it has cost me in victories and all that. So, Well, that is debatable if I could have actually won or not, but you know, yeah, sure, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay, now we're going to look at fleets and contend with it. There's his executor, a yippee, his radis and empire fleet with the Thai inner, the stupid second sister ship out in front. That one didn't make any sense to me either. And this time, I made sure to look before I went in to see if I had the Razor Crest out front instead of the Slave One. Because against my battle, my battle against Wally Ford, uh, I didn't check that, and that cost me uh, clearing his fleets. So, yeah. It's amazing what happens whenever you actually... Uh, think ahead, or like, not think ahead, uh, don't let your emotions control you, which is something I need to work on, but anyways, uh, just another fun executor mirror, yay, I need to look at, after I get done with this recording, I need to look at, um, my relic maps that I have for Cassian, because... If I can get him to Relic 8 sooner rather than later, that'll make it a little easier on myself. Really want my turn to go. There we go. Get the heal off on Razor Crest. There goes their heal on Razor Crest. Fun. I'm going to go for Xanadu now. Going to blap him out. And now it's smooth sailing. Other than the fact that, uh,. You know, Houndstooth had marked and uh, breach on him, but you know, small, small, minor details there. And I got to uh, see what uh, Jabba looks like in ter territory, <laughs> not territory wars in Grand Arena. Uh, one of the guys over in Dagobah posted a screenshot of his defenses, and Jabba literally is so fucking fat, he crosses the boundaries between these zones because they didn't, I guess, think to make his model, like, not clip into the next zone, depending on which zone he's in, you know? So it's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous looking like he's, like, clipped into, I can't remember what character was standing in the south zone that Jabba was clipped into, it's pretty amusing to look at, though. But yeah, I'm going to try to uh, maybe get this video processed tonight, which is Tuesday. So that way I can get it uploaded Wednesday night or Wednesday morning, which is tomorrow. We'll get it pre-uploaded so that way it can be uh, posted Thursday. So that way I can focus on the first opponent for week three. Uh, Wednesday night. Sorry, it's trying to burp into the microphone he had a we went to a new mexican restaurant tonight i thought it was pretty good but i'm also a fan of mexican food so yeah you know okay what are we doing now are we going for we are gonna go for 
his weird empire team with the Ty Ellen for some reason out front. I I don't know. Um yeah, sure. Okay. I really need to check on Territory War after this is recorded. Speaking of recording... Okay, I had it on the right microphone. I really should... I know I checked it before I started recording, but it slips my mind quite frequently. So yeah. We get to AoE. There goes Veda. And... There goes... What's her name? Second sister. Bye bye. Thank you. Now for the Rados. I'm getting close to getting the Outrider done. Uh, I need. Let me look at the game. Um, I need. How many shards do I need? Oh, let's see here. 22. No. Yeah, no, 22. Let's try to make sure my math is right. I'm hoping maybe to get it done by this week. I kind of doubt it, but it uh, depends on drops, obviously. But uh, hopefully I get that ship done, so that way I can go back to farming the Echelon up. But uh, yeah, let's see how well CG gives me the drops on it. Oh, someone in my guild just got his Outrider done as well. Lovely. Now if he would attack in Territory War, that would even be better. That 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 would, that would be even better is what I was trying to say. God, you would think I'd be able to know how to speak English, but apparently I do not. There goes Ray's Falcon. Let's see if that guy has attacked in Territory Wars. No, he fucking hasn't. I know we're not a Territory War guild, but if we win, that'd be fucking stellar. Speaking of win, I know the rewards are even worse now because they took away the slicing mats for some god-awful reason. And <laughs> 69 banners against the Radis fleet. yippee ki -yay. But, uh, yeah. That is the end of the footage. Like I said, I managed to kill the CLS team after a little bit, and I lost score. Hold on, let me pull up my phone. It'll be in the video anyways. Oh, let's see. No. Grief. Okay, the final score was 1168. One, 1168 to 1148. Yeah. If I had gone south and killed his... Lord Vader team and all that first instead of going northward, it would have been a problem. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all in a couple days with the beginning of week three. Have a good one.